To the dismay of many gamers, including myself, Quantum Break on PC is a technical mess, both in terms of the game itself and factors surrounding it, thanks in part to Windows 10 and the Microsoft Store. Honestly, I'd be lying to if I said I didn't see the red flags. I'd say there was more than enough justification for skepticism regarding the PC port due to the omission of reviews for the PC version of the game prior to launch. This was later clarified when we found out that PC recodes were never even distributed. This is always a bad sign. Nine times out of 10, it means the port is fucked. No pre-release PC reviews are an automatic not buying on release day flag for me. When the game first launched, I was hearing a lot of conflicting reports about performance, nothing substantiated by trustworthy sources, and with no PC reviews or tech analysis videos available, I held off writing this video to avoid quoting misinformation. I wanted to get as much information as possible together to make an informed video. At this stage though, we pretty much know exactly what happened, and it's a disaster. First of all, tons of people have simply had issues getting the game. Many people, including a few acquaintances of mine, were complaining on launch day about not receiving their pre-order codes, which is ridiculous. I mean, people buying the game on release got their game faster than those who pre-ordered the game. I also know some people were having issues getting their PC code through purchasing the game digitally on Xbox One too. Some people have simply been unable to download the game or have had issues downloading it through the Microsoft Store. Obviously, Microsoft can't do basic math either because the game costs $99 on the Australian Store which is way too high. Converting that to US dollars equals a price of 75 US dollars. You can't get codes for the PC version on G2A either, so even if the game was working properly, it'd be a pretty hard sell. Game performance has been insanely below par. We're talking massive frame rate issues, below 30 FPS, on low settings, running on a GTX 980 Ti. It seems like Nvidia users are being hit with the brunt of these performance issues to where there's literally a 50% difference in performance on equivalently powered cards. Nvidia display drivers will crash too, which plain should not happen. The game suffers from frame pacing issues as well, so even when you lock it at 30 FPS, it looks choppy as hell. Oh, and get this too, the game is seemingly capped at 50 FPS on 60 Hertz monitors for some reason. It was outright confirmed by Digital Foundry. They ran the game on low settings at 720p on a goddamn Titan X, and it would not go above 50 FPS on a 60 Hertz monitor. One of the major issues with this game in terms of the settings options is due to the UWP, which prevents certain settings from being changed. I don't use V-Sync. I prefer tearing over a jerky frame rate. But for some reason, you got no choice in the matter here because Quantum Break is locked to double buffer V-Sync. And on UWP, you're gonna have a hard time changing many of the settings. It's way more restrictive than Windows 7. Based on graphical analysis videos, there's hardly a bump in visual fidelity either. Some of the masking techniques for the console version, specifically pop-in related, and strange resolution issues are directly ported to the PC. So it's pretty much a confirmed direct console port. Here's the best part. Remedy confirmed a few days ago that some of these issues, namely the pop-in, are inherent to the Northlight engine. So certain issues with the game are unfixable. When Remedy, and thereby Microsoft, knew this was the case, who the fuck approved porting the game to PC when the game is inherently unable to meet PC gaming standards and cannot be fixed? If the engine is crap and is literally neutered for consoles, don't port the game to PC. Quantum Break on PC is simply not up to the standard of a sellable product, and no way am I paying $100 for a port that's barely functional. Hence why I'm not buying it until we hear word that the PC version is fixed, or fixed as much as it can be when the engine is fundamentally flawed. This is extremely disappointing for me because I want to play Quantum Break. I haven't exactly hidden the fact that I've been looking forward to playing this game since it was announced in 2013. And I like Remedy, but I'm not spending money on a product that is blatantly not ported correctly. But where exactly am I going with this? It's a topic much broader than just one bad PC port. What needs to be discussed is Microsoft's start to their PC gaming push. If Microsoft are serious about catering to PC gamers and getting into the PC market, they're off to a really bad start. Gears of War Ultimate on the PC was a fucking mess. People are not liking the Xbox Store stuff in Windows, UWP is causing tons of issues, and now Quantum Break, following announcements like, you have to stream the show into the game, have, if you ask me, 
instilled a sense of massive skepticism from the PC gaming community in Microsoft and put Microsoft on thin ice. The thing Microsoft had to know was that they were coming into a market that simply does not trust them. PC gamers are largely anti-Xbox due to the fact that the Xbox brand has generally been the most exploitative, especially during the 360 era, what with the Xbox Live Gold and the Ring Ring of Death. On top of that, Microsoft came into the PC gaming market years ago with Games for Windows Live and it flopped hard because they tried to take advantage of a market that is very difficult to be taken advantage of. And now Microsoft has a lot more competition on PC. Steam is huge, Battle.net is still dominant, Origin is much better than it used to be, Uplay isn't good but it's still there, and we've got websites like G2A selling CD keys. But the thing about all of these services, whether you like them or not, is that none of them are drastically out of the way to PC gamers. Now imagine Microsoft then lumbers in the door and forces PC gamers to upgrade to Windows 10 to play their games, just like they did with Halo 2 on Vista, get an Xbox account, use their store, no discount, to download a single game. If you're forcing PC gamers to jump through all these hoops and fundamentally change their operating system just to play your games, you can't then fail to deliver a functional game or even a functional service to play those games on. I don't get it. They know PC gamers by and large have higher standards than console gamers. They're coming into a market with PC gamers apprehensive towards them due to their past history and yet they thought it was smart off the back of another train wreck of a port to release Quantum Break on the PC in this state. What the fuck were they thinking? Microsoft are in dire need of a solid PC game as it is right now. The way I see it, if Microsoft's next PC release has similar issues, they're fucked. PC gamers will lose all faith in Microsoft. Their unified Windows platform initiative and Windows 10 gaming push will be dead in the water. And what will Microsoft be left with? A console with no exclusives that is never going to outpace the PS4 and a thoroughly pissed off, apprehensive PC gaming audience. No end joke. The only joke is whoever the hell thought releasing a port this bad, again, was a good idea.